Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys with another follow-up Friday video. Follow-up Friday. It has been uh, six months since I put the Tanu cover on the back of my 2021 Ford F-150. That video was actually done very well, so I thought it was worth coming back to revisit this six months later and share with you guys how this back X4S is holding up. This canvas bag, awesome hitch bag. I did want to talk about driving with this cover because I do get a lot of people that will ask if it makes any noise uh, while driving. The cover itself stays incredibly silent. Um, there is absolutely no flutter. I have had the fabric covers before that uh, can start to sound kind of like a flag flapping in the wind. Uh, this one does not have uh, those kinds of issues. So uh, driving down the road, you don't even know that it's there. and. Uh, not very easy to see here on this view, but the uh, bed view, which I'm gonna make a video on this later about how I was able to activate that whole scenario. But uh, driving down the road, the thing is stone cold silent. So what am I doing out here in the middle of the desert when I could have filmed this in my driveway? Well, I guess a little bit of dramatic effect. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. It is sunny almost every day. Of course, the day I come out to film, there are some clouds in the sky, but the sun is the absolute demise of most Tanu covers because UV rays just demolish them. My truck lives in the driveway, it is not garaged, and when I'm at work, it's not under any sort of shaded structure. So one thing I will say with these covers, I get a lot of comments from people that I believe are from the original X4. When the sun would beat down on the top of these covers, uh, it would basically eat away at the glue, and eventually that would just sag and you would open it up and you just see fabric kind of dangling down below. This X4S is put together much more engineered, I guess you'd say, in terms of these little rubber locks that kind of interlock everything together. I have not had any troubles with this thing falling apart in the sunlight. I think this cover, bang for buck, is awesome and I have come from, well, the old fabric Tanu covers, I guess you'd say the more traditional fabric Tanu covers, uh, with the Lund Genesis Elite. Awesome cover, I reviewed that years ago now on this channel. And I've also had the uh, Roland Lock Power Tanu covers, and those are awesome, but I will say the powder coat after several years in the sun does start to show some uh, signs of sun fade. So I went with this Revolver X4S with this truck because I wanted to try something that was Kind of the best of both worlds. I think the fabric Tanu covers look the best, but the aluminum gives you the maximum security. And this is super secure. So is it going to be as secure as some of the diamond plate looking aluminum covers that you see out on the market? No, it is not. But it is going to be, in my opinion, the cleanest looking and most secure option that you can probably buy on the market today. And I'm happy to report that after six months of riding around with this thing, it has held up incredibly well. I put this on the truck in late August. So it went through August, September, October, basically three months where you have temperatures, well, August and September, well over 100 degrees. Uh, this cover spent many a days, probably 110 plus. And then October, that's where you start dropping down into maybe 90s uh, during the day. Now, nothing is perfect in terms of these Tanu covers. You're always going to have pros and cons. So I do want to talk about a couple of the negatives. First things first, there are a couple little marks here on top of the cover. That happened on a day that was, again, over 110 degrees. This thing was baking in the sun. It gets to the point where it gets so hot, you really can't even touch it. The aluminum somehow made contact with the 
top of the cover and it looks like it maybe melted or discolored. I'm not too sure what happened on the top, but that is permanent. It's run through the car wash a whole bunch of times and I cannot get it uh, to come out. So there is a little imperfection there. Doesn't bother me one bit, uh, but that did happen. And then another thing I will say, this happened, I saw these edges here, they were super sharp. I thought to myself, man, I should file those down. Of course I never did it. One day I'm out on a job site, sure enough, I come over here and I'm talking to somebody who was on that side of the truck and I put my arm up on here as the tailgate was closing and it pinched me and it pinched me something good. Just nothing crazy, but enough that it kind of threw me back a little bit. So uh, I did later that day, as I should have when I installed it, took a file to the edges and kind of rounded it over a little bit just because uh, those aluminum extrusions, the way that they cut those at the plant and then send them out, um, I think there should be a cover on that. And one more thing that has been, I suppose you could say a problem, not really much of a problem, but these little rubber bumpers here, which are just weather stripping, meant to protect the rear glass when you roll it up. They do seem to come undone, or the sticky tape on them doesn't seem to hold. And I'm guessing this is also due to heat, but it would be nice if they came up with like a rubber stop that actually had a lip that would catch in here, like a, just a little rubber block. That would be a much better solution for this type of thing. Uh, again, for the money you pay, it would be nice to see that, but uh, not a deal breaker for me. Now talking about car washes, I don't know why, but I love when I see people comment uh, that they're unhappy when their tonneau cover lets water into the bed of their truck. I just feel like those people are buying the wrong vehicle. Buy a Tahoe or a Suburban, buy an SUV that you can keep weather tight, or go with an old PAP cap where you, uh, you, know, you have the huge cap on the back of the truck and you can weather tight those a little bit better. Tonneau covers on trucks, in my opinion, are not meant to be 100% waterproof. When you start getting to the point where you're weather sealing up the back of the tailgate, uh, that's just not me. So I do, when I make these review videos, run these things through the car wash. I put the 360 camera in the bed. I light it up so you can see exactly where the water comes in. You can spend a ton of time trying to waterproof it. I just don't care that much. Anything that I put in the bed of my truck, if it's weather sensitive, it is in a plastic case and uh, I'm just really not that worried about it. Now, of course, when I say that I don't care about things getting wet, I really only mean that in terms of a high pressure car wash type water. I do care if things get wet in the rain. Uh, now, a little bit of water coming in at the tailgate doesn't bother me too much. I just don't wanna see water coming in around the edges. Uh, and that's really what I'm testing when I go through that car wash test. Uh, trying to see how much high pressure water it lets in. So that tells me in the rain driving down the road that this thing will hold up fine uh, to the regular weather, which is just a general rain. This does very, very well with. Uh, I'm really happy with its performance. And if you need your bed to be 100% waterproof, again, I think you should probably shop for a different vehicle. Personally, that's my take on it, but leave in the comments down below. What do you guys think? All in, I am very happy with this Tanu cover. Uh, it has served me well. Uh, I think that, again, on the market, when you start talking about a Tanu cover that is pushing $1,000, it's got to be worth every penny of that 1000 bucks. It can't just look cool. Uh, so you can go with a Tanu cover for a few hundred bucks, just more of your traditional rollout fabric Tanu cover. You can spend up to thousands on those things. Uh, I opted to go this route. This was not sponsored. This was a cover I paid my own money for. Uh, I do have an affiliate link now to realtruck.com, which at the time when I purchased this, I did not, uh, but I do have that now. So I will link uh, down in the description down below to the real truck uh, affiliate. So if you guys do buy through that, um, I get uh, a couple percent back on those purchases. So it kind of helps support the channel. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.